us two. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. This is Ronnie. I've got Daisy, Liberty, Layla. Oh, everybody's all over here. Round two, because they were fighting. All right, so first of all, we want to say thank you so much for the shout outs, Kindred Stitcher, and um, Needle in a Haystack. They put us in their newsletter, and in we are Alameda, so honored. California, right? Um, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And then we've got some questions. So we did have a house tour last week. It's little when you look on it, when you look at it on YouTube. We understand that we had some technical difficulties. I edited it in iMovie. I shot it in portrait like I wasn't supposed to do. I just messed it all up. But she found a way to make it full size on her blog. So go to her blog and can, you can see it how it was intended to be viewed. But not in HD because we can't get HD to work either. <laughs> we tried. Yeah, right. We'll do better next time. Right. And thank you for all your cool. wonderful comments. And, you know, <laughs> Farm Girl said her husband doesn't think she's nuts anymore. <laughs> see, look at what do you do for people. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> You need somebody to do that for you, though. You just whacked me in the head with your hair. <laughs> Sorry, I need a haircut. <laughs> All right, first we'll do questions from the cross-stitch video. <laughs> Chrissy wanted to know if you find it difficult to stitch on black Monaco. No, I use an at light, and I try, if I'm stitching black, I try to do as much daylight stitching as I can on it, and it helps a lot. And we have really good windows in our house, too, where I get a lot of light. Right. She uh, had some difficulty with the stuff that she dyed using Rit Dye, she said because it shrank. Yeah, I felt like that went down to like a 32 and I couldn't see it. Um, it was harder. I, could, I did it, but it was harder. Debbie wanted to know if we know how to make Jingle Bells rusty. No. I do know how to order from Amazon though and get the rusty ones. <laughs> <laughs> we googled that and it looked like too much trouble, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like gloves. And yeah. Stuff and, nah. and you gotta sit it outside for days in a jar and nah. Mm -mm. We ain't got time for that. Yep. Order. <laughs> she don't have time to show you the back of her stitching, so she That's surely right. doesn't have time to make rusty jingle balls. That's right. <laughs> uh, Cheryl wanted to know how many threads we use. Two. Two, two over two. Uh, Jody wanted to know if we gift stitched pieces. Not really. I mean, I, I have made something for Chelsea, and I did make something for one of my other sons, and no, not really, because you just don't, it takes a long time, and you don't want to make something for somebody if they aren't going to be interested in it, so. Um, yeah, that's true. I'm working on a, a gifted piece now. I can't say that it'll be done for Christmas. I had really high hopes, but we will see. Um, Pam wanted to know if we have a preference on chalk paint and is it pricey? We yeah. have tried Annie Sloan's. When we first started doing this a few years ago, when I moved into my own house, uh, I wanted, I bought like all, um, what's it called? Church rummage sale furniture and we chalk painted it all. <laughs> just be, I mean, I was on a budget. Um, and we used Annie Sloan's paint and then Rust-Oleum came out with their chalked series. Mm -hmm. And it works. And we just have as well. we've made our own too with plaster of Paris and regular paint, and that works really good too. Yeah, so we had done that too. Um, I, I, don't, I don't feel the need to buy the pricey stuff. No, I still use the Annie Sloan's dark wax for my stuff to kind of seal it. I like the way that that stuff goes on. But we've never tried another kind, so we don't know. Right. But, but the, she has used the Rust Oleum's glaze that they have in their lineup. It's in a paint can just like that, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit thinner than the, the like pasty wax that I use, and she liked it. All right. Um, it's more like a stain. Yes. But Betty wanted to know what kind of fabric you stitched the chalk ornaments on. 28 count Monaco, even weave. Everything we stitch on is 28 count, even weave Monaco. You can't get the black in the Monaco anymore, but I know you can get Lugana and Jobelin. Yes. And there's all different companies that do the hand dyed fabrics that you can get a chalk colored fabric from. Okay. Now moving on to previous finish. Um, your questions from oh. your Christmas video. Oh, sorry. Everyone wants to know where all your Christmas is stored. We have a big basement and then off of the basement there's two crawl spaces and one of them is just Christmas decorations. It's the size of the, like the cooking area of my kitchen is that crawl space. And, and she the stores them in Rubbermaid bins. Yeah, the bins yeah. just get stacked in there and the trees. and. I can't say that she's too careful about putting her stuff away and wrapping <laughs> it at all either. <laughs> she does have shelves uh, built in downstairs as well for her village. So her village doesn't get packed up. They just go. Some of it still is in boxes and bins. Oh, some. 
but a lot of it is on shelves. shelves. And then I do have a, a big closet down there with shelves that all the Fitz and Floyd goes in. Yep. So that's not wrapped up and worried about being broken. Um, and how many days does it take you to decorate? Well, normally it would take me about seven, maybe eight days, but with all the stuff we had going on this year, yeah, it took a while. <laughs> Um, that's it. That's it. The, that's it. That stuff will be later. Oh, okay. Okay, so for a previous finish, I have this Plum Street sampler piece, Mary Brew, I think it's called, and I used a thrift store frame. I didn't even paint it or anything. It came that color. Some a thrift store sweater for the backing, some red gingham, red gingham bow, and some flocked greenery. And, and a jingle bell. If you watch the home tour, that was in the family room. Okay, so I'm so excited that we get to show you. All right, we'll show you first. Can you hold that? This is the chalkboard that the Chalk for the Home series came from. We're having dog problems today. <laughs> We're trying to keep them from wrestling so we don't have to redo this, so... If you see so these are the chalkboards. The pictures of these get sent to Kathy Haberman from Hands on Design. And this then an actual chalkboard that she draws on with actual chalk. This is the stitched version. So I found this frame at Hobby Lobby and this is what they all go in. It's I use magnets and sheet metal. So the I did like three different colors of plaid bows and added some greenery and it's all mounted on black gingham. So this hangs in my kitchen. And this frame is at Hobby Lobby, but it's not this color. It was like a natural wood and we painted it and added this little trim to it. So I'm so excited to be able to show this to you. And yesterday, Down Sunshine Lane, Amy emailed me and said that they will be offering a discount on the chalk patterns. So you can pre-order them there because they aren't coming out. They won't be shipping to stores until next week. So if you pre-order on her shop, you have to use the special code Priscilla. And you have to do it before you place your order because she said she can't fix it after. But she's doing it on all four of the Chalk for the Home charts. You can get one or you can get all four, but she's offering a discount. So... We're going to spell out Priscilla underneath in the comment section, so just make sure you're spelling it right and make sure you put that in the promo code before you order. But a lot of stores will be offering these for pre-order, so if you have an LNS, you can call them up and get on pre-order for it and get your threads ordered so when you get it, you can start stitching. Yep. But I just love it. The, the ribbon down at the bottom is, you know, kind of buffalo checked with the black and the red and the little red house. So this is the last in the Chalk for the Home series. Did you say the name of it already? Oh, Let It Snow Bungalow. Let It Snow Bungalow. <laughs> I'd like to live in the Let It Snow Bungalow. Mm -hmm. I would too. We'd have those big guys outside the door. <laughs> like bodyguards. Mm -hmm. All right. And then this week I also finished my Lizzie Kate Christmas Rules. And I found this piece of fence. You're going to have to probably sit on your lap or something. I found this piece of fence when we were out flea marketing this fall. And then I added this big garland over the top, some bows, and I added a piece of chalkboard back here and I wrote follow la 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 all the way around. Because one of the things is follow la your, what is it? Follow la la as you decorate. So. It says follow la all the way around. And there's more pictures of this on my blog, as is the chalk design. There, there's lots more pictures so you can see it up close. But I was so excited to finish this. So excited. Mom doesn't follow la as she decorates. She Mariah carries. <laughs> A hundred times over. <laughs> oh, and Rosie O'Donnell's uh, Christmas CD from like, what is it, 1999 or something like that. All of us kids have it, too, and we listen to it. <laughs> it's got, like, guest stars like Elmo and... Who's that one? Celine Dion. Um, Walking in Winter Wonderland. Who is that? Donny Osmond. Donny Osmond. Okay. <laughs> Just a little tidbit. Somebody wanted to know what kind of perfume I was wearing. Uh, Marc Jacobs, Daisy. She said people want to know. <laughs> because Pioneer Woman asked. 
I got it for my wedding for my stepdad. A big old bottle of it too. Okay, so whips. Whip, whip. So mostly this week I worked on um, my Lizzie Kate, finishing that up, and the the rest of my small chalkboard design. And this is Ornamental Joy from Country Cottage Needleworks. I got a little bit more done on that. And like I told you, I'm going to lantern lane like it's my job. So I got more done on... Oh. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin helps. It helps to show it the right way, right? Yeah. So those are my only two whips this week. But I have a little bit more done both of them. on Lizzie Kate's. Four Seasons Winter. Almost done. Alright. Okay, so we're going to do... We had some very generous, generous people send us gifts this week. And, and last week. Is it last week? Mm-hmm. This week. Um, first was from Laura. When... Oh, da Danielle Stitcherista. And she sent us this really cute card. And. <laughs> I just want you guys to be able to see the chickens. Yep. Love it. Thank you so much, Danielle. Village Green. We, we love Prairie Schooler. <laughs> you, she sent this for me. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. I'll just have to pry it out of your hands. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. Right. Thank you. And then. Um, Laura knew that I love donuts. And she won one of our giveaways from the four snowfall charts. And she sent us a, a huge gift. A smorgasbord mm -hmm. of stuff. So we both got, um, everything's sticking to me. We both got snag nabbits. Yep, and we don't have those. Nope. And then you want to show these? This is Madame Chantilly chart, Oh Christmas Tree, with the truck. It's awesome. I was going to start it, but I decided I needed to lantern lane a little bit more. I can't read them. I don't have my glasses on. This is Santa Ornament Mary Stitches by Homespun Elegance. And then I commandeered these. Um, Madam Chantilly, this is Guy Guyen, I think. It, chicken. Hen. <laughs> It's chicken. It's a chicken. It's I love it, and I love the colors of it. Oh, did you see this little blue one? Yes, that's what I was showing you this morning. Um, and then another, another I can't pronounce it, chicken. It's an Italian. <laughs> I love spaghetti. We're Italian, kind of. Um, and then, this is my favorite. It's Santa riding a chicken. It's cute. Traditional chicken Santa is what it's called. <laughs> so traditionally, Santa doesn't have reindeer. He has chickens. And they didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Squirrely. That one's cute, too. I love it. They're all cute. Thank you so and much. we got some sticker lotion. And she packed it nicely, so if it spilled, it would be a ziplock. So thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you, Laura. That oh. Greatly appreciated. We loved seeing it all. I just love it all. Okay, okay, so then we had Deb Brode. She follows my Facebook page, and she had two of the Lizzie Kate rules charts that are new that she hasn't used, and she asked if we wanted to give them away, so she sent them to us. So, Thanks, Deb. Can you read which ones those are? Okay, so this is, um, oh, like you said, follow la la as you decorate and honor traditions, Christmas rules. Um, this is like the second chart down. Uh, there we go. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to give these away. Are we doing it separately or together? No, together. So, you need to... How about your favorite Christmas cookie? Okay. Because it's almost time to bake those Christmas cookies. Yeah, that'll be shown in a... It'll be shown the right way in HD in a coming video. <laughs> You'll see Priscilla's Christmas cookies. Um, okay, so put in the comments your favorite 
Christmas cookie. And if it's something really good, maybe you should put the recipe to it. <laughs> if you'd like to be entered to win these two charts. So they're going out together. Um, and the buttons are in them. So then you only have to buy four more if you want to do the Christmas rules. Yeah, so it's F99 and F98. Be kind, uh, treasure family, and fa -la, la and honor traditions. So thank you, Deb Broad, for offering those for a giveaway. We, we appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Okay, recap. Um, Down Sunshine Lane is actually extending the forest snowfall. So in case you get gift cards for stitchy stuff during the holidays. Or cash. <laughs> Um, cash is always good. <laughs> you're able to, yeah, that's what I want for Christmas is cash. <laughs> then why'd um, you give me a list? <laughs> you're able to, because you asked for things. <laughs> um, just dollar bills. Um, anyways, you're able to go to her website and use that. Um, so you can still get the discount on the Forest Snowfall. Through the 31st mm -hmm. then of December. Also, that's so after it starts, but she's allowing... Plenty of time for you guys to jump in and get those patterns. She also has them in stock, so she's shipping them out. People are getting them rapidly. And she said so. she's wrapped up on the orders for them, too. Mm -hmm. So that we'll put that down below that you can just click on it if you want to buy that. And then the other one, you have to put in the promo code Priscilla to get the discount on the chalk charts. P-R-I-S-C-I-L-L-A. We'll put it down below. But it's use the that name of our channel. <laughs> I'm going to help everybody out. <laughs> I'm going to put it in all caps for you, too. Um, sometimes I still get... If, she needs to I know. <laughs> I tried. I couldn't get it. All right. I, like, have it stuffed in my shirt. <laughs> Sorry. This is going places we don't want to go. All right. So, you got this... <laughs> You got to see the Chalk for the Home uh, series. We had stuff in here. Are we covering this? Oh, oh, okay. So when Kathy Haver and I talked this week, we decided that there will be another series, and I can tell you it's going to be called Chalk on the Farm. So look for that starting in February for a springy type farm scene and then we're going to continue through the year with that my chickens will most likely be models so if you guys want to and in. i want to tell all you guys thank you that badger her every time i put up a new chalkboard that she want to stitch it because it's so exciting that helps <laughs> so keep badgering uh <laughs> so goofy uh, i still can't get over you shoving your phone in your shirt where um, am i supposed to shove it <laughs> Know under your leg? <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> All right, so you got a sneak peek, and her charts will be in stores. They're shipping next week, so shipping next week. So, so you have plenty of get, time to get stitch yourself it up. on a list somewhere so you get one real fast. Yep, and get the chalk and please tag already. us when you start. I'd love to see it. Yep. All right. Anything else you got? I was going to show them that I. I um... What are you going to work on next week? Yeah, I, I'm hoping to get this one started. Look at that fabric. Ooh. But those are the colors that I chose. I did some different things with it. I'm just trying to get them. And I was going to start just yesterday, like but I, them up. I had to go Christmas shopping instead. Because mm -hmm. we didn't know you wanted cash before that. <laughs> <laughs> cash is always good. She'll have the, the picture of it on her blog but it's Mary and Bright from Country Cutters Needleworks. So I'm going to start that. Anyway... I think that that's it. I hope you guys have all decorated and are all feeling festive. I know we are. Yeah. And um, if you get your inspiration from us, please tag us. We'd love to see your posts and things that you're making. Also, follow us on Instagram, Priscilla's 2000. Uh, uh, no, Priscilla Blaine, <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea356, and Priscilla's 2000. Ooh on Facebook and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of all that we've shown you. All right, we will see you next week. Bye.